Welcome to Grade 4 Mathematics. Today, you are going to learn number patterns or number sequence. Numbers can have interesting patterns. Numbers that show an arrangement which follow a certain pattern are called number pattern or number sequence. Each number in a sequence is called a term. To find the missing term or terms in a sequence, we must first look for its pattern. Determining missing term or terms in a sequence of numbers. Example 1. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. The three dots at the end of the sequence means and so on. To be able to find the missing number, we must find the rule in the sequence. So here is the example. So from 4 to 8, it is plus 4. From 8 to 12, it is also plus 4. 12 to 16 is plus 4. And 16 to 20 is plus 4. So we can say that the pattern in this example is plus 4. This sequence has a difference of 4 between each number. The pattern is continued by adding 4 to the last number each time. Thus, the next number in the pattern is 24. The pattern of the number is made up of all even numbers. Example 2, 1, 5, 9, 13, and 17. So what will be the next three numbers? Just like in example 1, this sequence has a difference of 4, but these numbers are all odd numbers. What are the next terms in the pattern? So you can see, the pattern is always plus 4. So 17 plus 4, the missing number, or the next missing number is 21. So what will be the next missing number? So again, just add 4. So 21 plus 4 is 25. Then again, for you to determine the next number, add 4 to 25. So 25 plus 4 is 29. So your answer is 21, 25, and 29. Example 3. So the given is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. So determine the next two numbers in the sequence. This sequence is obtained by multiplying the preceding number by 2. The pattern is continued by doubling the previous number each time. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. 16 times 2 is equal to 32. 32 times 2 is equal to 64. So, the next pattern will be 64 times 2. So the answer is 128. Then the last number in the pattern is 128 times 2, which is 256. So your answer is 128 and 256. Example 4. So this is the given number. 64, 57, 50, 43, 36. So find the next two number in the sequence. So 64 and 57, if you subtract 7 from 64, you will get 57. So 57 minus 7 is equal to 50. So that will be your pattern. 50 minus 7 is equal to 43. 43 minus 7 is equal to 36. So 36 minus 7. So this sequence of a number is in decreasing order. 
get the difference between 64 and 57. In like manner with 57 and 50, their difference is 7. So 36 minus 7, you will get 29. Then 29 minus 7, the answer is 22. So the missing numbers in this sequence is 29 and 22. Example 5. So this is the number pattern. 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, 17. And the next two numbers is blank. So between 2 and 3, you add 1. Between 3 and 5, you add 2. Between 5 and 8, you add 3. Between 8 and 12, you add 4. Between 12 and 17, you add 5. In this sequence, the number added to each term is increased by 1. So 17 plus 6. So your 6 will be the next pattern. The answer is 23. What will you add to 23 to get the next number? Add 7. So 23 plus 7 is equal to 30. So the missing number in this sequence is 23 and 30. Next lesson is finding the missing number in an equation. An equation is a mathematical sentence that shows equality of two quantities. Look at the equation. Let us find out the missing number or numbers in each equation. So 8 plus 13 plus 25 is equal to 25 plus 8 plus blank. In this equation, we will use the associative property of addition. So you will get 13. Next example. So 5 times 10 plus 15 is equal to 5 times 10 plus 5 times 10. In this equation, we will use distributive property of multiplication over addition. Again, continuing. 5 times 10 plus 15 is equal to 5 times 10 is 50. Then 5 times 15 is 75. So 5 times 25 25 is the answer to 10 plus 15 is equal to 50 plus 75. So 5 times 25 is 125. Then 50 plus 75 is equal to 125. Next example. So 6 times 8 is equal to 8 times blank. In this equation, we will use commutative property. So the missing number is? Six. So 6 times 8 is equal to 8 times 6. Another example. 25 plus 0 plus 1 times 50 is equal to 75 plus blank. For this equation, we are going to use identity or zero property. So 25 plus 0 is equal to 25. Plus 1 times 50 is equal to 50. And it is equal to 75 plus blank. So if you add 25 plus 50, you will get 75. So it is equal to 75. So what will be your missing number? Your missing number will be 0. Remember, to find the missing term or terms in a sequence, we must first look for its pattern. Some pattern involves the odd and even numbers and multiples of numbers. To find the missing number in an equation, we use the different properties of whole numbers and their operations. We have commutative property, associative property, identity or zero property, and distributive property. And remember, stay safe, always wear your mask. Have a good day.